Welcome to the unsettling realm of Richard Cottingham. This is the story of one of his gruesome crimes. It was a humid summer night in 1977, and New York City's Times Square was pulsating with life and energy. In the midst of the neon lights and bustling streets, 19-year-old Valerie Ann Street was out for a night of entertainment a common occurrence in the city that never sleeps. Valerie was a striking young woman, known for her beauty and vivacious spirit. She had recently moved to the city, aspiring to find success and excitement among the glitz and glamour of Manhattan. However, on this fateful night, her dreams would take a dark turn. As Valerie walked alone along the crowded streets, she was approached by a man who exuded an aura of charm and confidence. Unbeknownst to her, the man she encountered was Richard Cottingham, a predator who had already left a trail of death and terror in his wake. Cottingham struck up a conversation with Valerie, luring her with promises of a good time and adventure. Valerie, trusting the seemingly friendly stranger, agreed to accompany him to a nearby motel not far from the bright lights of Times Square. Inside the dimly lit motel room, Cottingham's true nature began to reveal itself. What started as a seemingly innocuous evening turned into a horrifying nightmare. He physically and sexually assaulted Valerie, subjecting her to unspeakable cruelty and violence. As Valerie's pleas for mercy fell on deaf ears, she fought desperately for her life. However, she was no match for the ruthless strength of her attacker. Cottingham strangled her, ending her life in a brutal and gruesome manner. The next morning, the bustling city continued to go about its business, oblivious to the horrifying events that had transpired in that nondescript motel room just hours earlier. Valerie's family and friends grew increasingly worried as she failed to return home, not realizing the unimaginable fate she had met. For weeks, Valerie's disappearance remained a painful mystery as law enforcement and her loved ones searched tirelessly for any sign of her. Meanwhile, Richard Cottingham continued to elude capture and added another victim to his growing list. It was not until his eventual arrest in 1980 that the true extent of his depravity came to light. Cottingham's crimes were revealed, including the murder of Valerie Ann Street and many others. His chilling confessions and the gruesome details of his crimes sent shockwaves through the nation. Richard Cottingham was ultimately convicted of multiple counts of murder and was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. His reign of terror had come to an end, but the memories of his victims, like Valerie Ann Street, would forever haunt the collective consciousness of a city that never forgets. Richard Francis Cottingham, the notorious serial killer known as the Torso Killer and the Times Square Ripper, led a life marked by secrecy, violence, and a shocking disregard for human life. Here is a detailed biography of this deeply disturbed individual. Richard Cottingham was born on November 25, 1946, in the Bronx, New York. Raised in a working-class family, Cottingham's childhood appeared relatively unremarkable. However, early on, signs of psychological disturbance began to manifest. He was a troubled child who struggled academically and socially, showing a penchant for cruelty to animals, an often cited warning sign in the development of serial killers. Cottingham's criminal record began to accumulate in the late 1960s and early 1970s. He was arrested multiple times for offenses like arson theft, and even assault. His brushes with the law hinted at a propensity for violence and criminal behavior, though he had not yet escalated to murder. Cottingham's descent into serial murder began in the mid-1970s when he claimed his first known victim, Marianne Carr, in 1977. He went on to commit a series of gruesome murders, primarily targeting women in New York and New Jersey. His modus operandi often involved luring women into hotels or motels where he would sexually assault and murder them. The brutality of his crimes earned him the moniker Torso Killer due to the dismemberment of some victims. Cottingham's reign of terror came to an end when he was apprehended by law enforcement in 1980 while attempting to kidnap a woman in a New Jersey motel. The subsequent investigation into his crimes uncovered a trove of evidence, including photographs of his victims and personal belongings he had kept as trophies. In 1981, Richard Cottingham was convicted of multiple counts of murder and sentenced to a prison term of 173 years. He later faced an additional life sentence in 1985 for the murder of another woman, Nancy Vogel, 
Despite his incarceration, he has maintained his innocence in some of the cases and has been denied parole multiple times. Cottingham's crimes are remembered for their extreme brutality, the dismemberment of some victims, as well as his photographs and mementos from his victims, illustrate a level of sadistic cruelty that shocked investigators and the public alike. Richard Cottingham remains in prison, serving multiple life sentences without the possibility of parole. His case continues to captivate the interest of true crime enthusiasts, criminologists, and those fascinated by the minds of serial killers. His heinous acts serve as a stark reminder of the darkest corners of human nature and the enduring impact of his crimes on the lives of his victims and their families. Richard Cottingham, the torso killer and Times Square Ripper, led a life marked by gruesome violence and dark secrets. Are some intriguing and disturbing facts about him? Cottingham had a keen interest in photography, a hobby he used both for capturing images of his victims and documenting his crimes. These macabre pro photos later became crucial pieces of evidence in his prosecution. Cottingham defied the stereotype of a serial killer with an unassuming appearance. He could blend into society appearing as an ordinary, middle-aged man, this stark contrast between his outward appearance and his sinister deeds made him even more dangerous. Cottingham used various aliases and pseudonyms to interact with his victims and law enforcement, making it challenging to trace his movements and identity during his criminal activities. While convicted for several murders, Cottingham is suspected of having killed many more, with estimates ranging from six to over a dozen victims. His unconfirmed victim count adds an air of mystery to his already chilling story. Cottingham was apprehended while attempting to kidnap a woman at a New Jersey motel in 1980. This arrest ultimately led to the discovery of evidence linking him to a string of murders. During his trial, Cottingham displayed a calm and composed demeanor that contrasted starkly with the horrors of his crimes. This cool and collected disposition added an eerie dimension to his court proceedings. Cottingham received multiple life sentences for his crimes, with no possibility of parole. These sentences ensured that he would never have the opportunity to harm more innocent victims. His aliases include the Torso Killer due to his dismemberment of victims and the Times Square Ripper because some of his crimes were linked to the Times Square area in New York City. Despite the overwhelming evidence against him, Richard Cottingham has at times maintained his innocence in some of the murder cases for which he was convicted. His refusal to accept responsibility for all his crimes remains a point of intrigue and contention. Cottingham's case continues to attract the interest of true crime enthusiasts, criminologists, and writers, serving as a chilling reminder of the depths of depravity that can exist within human nature. The life and crimes of Richard Cottingham stand as a harrowing testament to the enduring fascination and horror of serial killers and their ability to blend into society while concealing dark and malevolent intentions. Bide farewell to the darkness that shrouded Richard Cottingham's life, but remember the haunting legacy that endures.